And joining us tonight is TV host and pop culture expert, Andrew Freund. Andrew, thanks so much for coming back to Bingeworthy. Thank you. I'm in from L.A. only for you, Tom. We appreciate that. Uh, we want to get started. We're going to talk about Netflix and a few new movies on that platform, that streaming service. The first is a fictional drama about a story 20 years after a notorious romance scandal. It's called May, December. It has an all-star cast. Let's take a look. When they sent me the script, I thought, here is a woman with a lot more to her than I remember from the tabloids. What would make a 36-year-old woman have an affair with a seventh grader? First, Andrew, Natalie Portman, and Julianne Moore. When Amazing. I love this combo. Oscar powerhouses. Yeah, um, but I was trying to understand, is this... Is it a dark comedy? Is it a drama? Is it a thriller? What is it? it it's kind of based off the Mary Kay Letourneau story. So it, okay. it's a take on that. And basically, Julianne Moore plays someone who had an affair with a younger man, Natalie Portman. Played, when you say younger man, we're talking a teenager, right? Yes. 16 year old, okay. Yes, but in the film, it's Charles Melton. So, you know, he's, he's older than that now. Right. But in the film, Natalie Portman plays an actress portraying Julianne Moore. Okay. A lot of awards buzz coming out of this, directed by Todd Haynes. Charles Melton just won the Gotham Award for Best Supporting Actor. It's very good, Tom. I watched it the other night. It's riveting. It's shocking. I don't want to give any of the twists and turns away. Highly recommend it. Oh, you sold it. Okay, we're in. Next up, we have a psychological thriller, also on Netflix. It's starring Julia Roberts, and this one is called Leave the World Behind. Here's a clip. Something is happening, and I don't trust them. Everything I know, I have told you. I don't believe you. I would do anything to protect my family. What you do is your business. Ethan Hawke. Ethan Hawke, Julia Roberts, I was asking you, and, 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 and I was correct. Um, so Julia Roberts in another thriller, I'm, I'm thinking Pelican Brief, which is a long time ago, but it's yeah. a great film. How is this one? All right, this is one of these films that you watch it and you can't stop thinking about it a few days after. It's written and directed by the man who did Mr. Robot. So it gets, okay. it gets dark, Tom. Yeah. And it, it's very plausible and it is basically kind of a doomsday type thriller but i'm telling you i could not stop thinking about this because you think about what would you do in this kind of situation are, could you survive are you a survival guy like i think i am could you like cook for yourself yeah could yeah. you like you know start a fire I'd start a fire take somebody out could you live without your phone yeah i could, I could live without my no phone. electronics right it's, it, it, it's that kind of stuff. That doesn't sound kind of crazy, though. It, it sounds like it camping. Gets, well, just um, watch and you'll get scared. Okay. <laughs> right. um, next up, we have a documentary about musician John Baptiste and his year of triumph and turmoil. And it's a story many people maybe don't know. This one's called American Symphony. Here's a clip. So many good things happening. And the Grammy goes to John Baptiste. And so many incredibly hard things. Oh, this remission last years and then come back and we don't know. Honestly, don't know how to hold such extremes. I'm a John Baptiste fan. I, he makes incredible music. I didn't know about this story, and I almost feel bad that I didn't know, but that he struggled through this with his wife. Yeah, so Sulaika, his partner, um, her cancer had come back while he was writing a symphony. So, okay, the guy's on Stephen Colbert. He's winning tons of Grammys, and his partner is suffering from cancer. So this documentary is really a story about love. It's a story about survival. It's a story about music. And it encapsulates everything that's going on in their lives. And I've also seen this, and you can't help but feel for these people and what they're going through, but also how they overcome things together, and they're still going through it. Wonderful, wonderful documentary. Andrew, these are a lot of great recommendations. I think I'm going to be binging all, all week, and we still, have, we still have more. There is a Christmas comedy on Amazon Prime. It's called Candy Cane Lane. It stars Eddie Murphy. We talked about it earlier this week. Let's take a look at that clip. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. High stakes as neighbors compete for best decorated house on the block. I think this is the house to beat. your Christmas wish. So our, our viewers got a taste of this earlier in the week. Al Roker sat down with the stars and he got to talk to them. So it, it's about basically decorating your house, competition. Yeah, yeah. So it, it starts out Eddie Murphy loses his job and, you know, this competition, you can win $100,000. So of course, you know, he's married to Tracy Ellis Ross. They want $100,000, but they make a deal with the devil, but the devil is a mis mischievous little elf. Okay. So... 
There's a fantasy element to this. Okay, There's like a fantasy it. element. Is it good for the kids? Can you watch it with the kids? Totally yeah. a family film on okay. Amazon, Christmas decorations, lights. Okay. You know, the whole thing. Gotcha. And then we have something sort of out of left field, but people who love Selena Gomez apparently love this show. Uh, she's out with a new season of her cooking show, just in time for the holidays. This one's called Selena and Chef, Home for the Holidays. I'm spending the holidays with Food Network. Ooh, like fun. You are rocking it. I gotta impress some boys. <laughs> with some of my favorite chefs Ooh. cooking up their favorite holiday dishes right here in my kitchen together. Come on! That looks fantastic. So Selena can sing, she can act, she's an amazing person all around. And can she cook? Sometimes she yeah. can cook. I, I, you know, I actually like this series because I, Tom, I cannot cook. Okay. I can't cook worth anything. Right. And fun fact is, when they were promoting this, they actually sent out a box to kind of cook, and they sent one of those mandolins. You know, have you ever used a mandolin? It like slices things. No. Don't use one because it'll slice your finger. And Selena Gomez's oh, mandolin sliced my finger. But um, this, seriously? I, yeah. I, oh gosh. Be careful of anyone yeah. using a mandolin. Be careful. But what I like about this series is because people like me can't cook and mm -hmm. Selena she's learning how to cook you kind of get easy steps and you know she's making holiday foods this whole these four episodes are all about promoting the holidays mm -hmm. she's making mozzarella sticks who doesn't love a good yeah. mozzarella stick that kind of a thing okay very cool uh, we want to move on now to music and share is out with a new Christmas song and it's scoring number one on Billboard songs chart for the seventh straight decade when it comes to dance music here's her song DJ play a Christmas song <laughs> So Cher still got it. That come on, at the come on, come on, Tom. In, in, in action, uh, how's the song, great? Okay, I can't get the song out of my head. That's why yeah. I told Aaron, the producer, I was like, we gotta talk about this song. She sang, Very obviously, popular. the other night out here. It's number one in the adult contemporary charts. Cher has had a number one song for the past six decades. Wow, that is incredible. Decades, she's 77 years old. She's still performing, still killing it. I would say she's at the top of her game right I now. I think I was being told seven decades. Is that what you guys were telling me? Seven? Well, maybe seven. Wow, we have a super fan who's one of our senior producers, Sarah, and so she knows. Sarah? It. Awesome. Could um, finally, Dove Cameron. Uh, she is out with a new one. If you have kids, they definitely know who Dove is. This one's called Sand. So she's been putting out uh, new music. Yeah. This one, uh, how are fans reacting? They're rea I mean, yeah. Dove is a huge social media star. Obviously, yeah. social media is driving everything these days. That song reminds me of Lana Del Rey a bit. It's got like yeah, kind of moody, have said that. moody vibe. Um, but, you know, she can do no wrong. And she's playing the piano, which I didn't know she could do. That's amazing. I, can you play the piano? I cannot, Andrew. Me neither. Uh, but we know you can't cook either. But you can do, <laughs> you're a great host of, of entertainment talk. Andrew, thanks so much for coming on. We always appreciate your time. And we thank you for watching Top Story. I'm Tom Yamas, New York. Stay right there. More news on the way.